on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at a related rates problem that deals with water draining from a conical tank and the ultimate goal here or the secret is to use similar triangles. Water is draining from the bottom of a conical tank at a rate of 2 cubic meters per second. Using the dimensions of the figure, at what rate is the depth of the water changing when the water left in the tank is 3 meters deep? So we had this conical shaped water tank and the rate at which the volume is changing is 2 cubic meters per second. The reason why it's volume is because we have cubic meters. Therefore, dv dt, the rate of change of volume with respect to time is negative two cubic meters per second. I used a negative two here because the water is draining, so the volume is decreasing inside of this conical tank. Since we have a cone, we're dealing with volume. The volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Before we apply calculus to this formula, notice that we have two variables over here. And if we differentiate these two variables with respect to time, we're going to have to apply the product rule. However, we can really avoid that, and as a matter of fact, we really want to avoid that by getting these two variables in terms of just one variable. Either we're going to get h in terms of r, or we're going to get r in terms of h. To determine which one we need, let's read this question again. At what rate is the depth of the water changing? at what rate is the height of the water? Same thing. That means we want to have a h down here so that when we differentiate the h, we're gonna get dh dt, you know, because we're differentiating with respect to time. Therefore, we want to try to find some way to get this r in terms of h. So check out this triangle I have right here. This is the triangle that models this base or this radius of the top of the cone. This circle, the radius is six and the height or the depth of this cone is 12. Let's take this similar triangle and write those two numbers down. And then what I want you to also note here is we're concerned about the, the rate of change of the height or the depth of this water. How fast is this depth changing when we have three meters right here? Three meters of water are left in the tank three meters deep. So we're talking about three meters right there. Well, the radius of this circle that we have, we, do st we still have a circle in here. The radius of that circle is actually going to be 1.5. And the reason why is I want you to notice that the radius or the base of this triangle, the radius or the base, is always going to be half of the depth. The depth here is 12 all the way from the top to the bottom when the radius is six. Well, if we have a depth of three meters, the radius is going to be half of that. So therefore, the radius is equal to half of the height. Now, we could do this as well. We could say two times the radius is equal to the height of our tank. Either way works. But now, which one of these do we want to use? We have R in terms of H, and down here we have H in terms of R. Recall, our question says at what rate is the depth of the water changing? So we want to have an H over here. Therefore, since r is equal to half the height, let's plug one half h into this r right here in our volume formula. So therefore we have volume equals one third pi one half h squared. So it used to be r squared, but since r is equal to one half h, I'm substituting that into this equation, and then we're multiplying by the height. Let's simplify this. Now all I've done here is I've taken the one half, I've squared it, that gives us one fourth times one third out here, we have one twelfth. We still have our pi, h squared times h is h cubed. Now we have a formula for the volume in terms of strictly h. When we differentiate this, we'll have a dh dt, which is gonna ultimately be the answer to this question, the rate of change of the depth of the water, the height of the water. So let's differentiate v with respect to time. The derivative of v is 1 dv dt, so we can just write dv dt, is equal to differentiating the variable h over here. That's the only variable we have to worry about. Pulling down the 3, multiplying it by 1 12th, and simplifying, we have 1 4th pi h squared. Don't forget to subtract 1. And since we're differentiating with respect to time, don't forget your dh dt. This is why it's important to understand which variable to plug stuff into and since we want to find dh dt, we got everything in terms of h over here, and now we can solve for dh dt by plugging in what else we know about this problem. dv dt is negative two cubic meters per second. 
is equal to 1 fourth times pi times h squared, the height at this instance, the depth of the water is three meters. So we want to plug three meters into this particular part for our H. Sure, the height of the cone is 12 meters, but at the instant when the water is three meters deep, that's the height of our water at that particular point in time, dH dt. Now it's time to get dH dt by itself. So what I've done here is squared the three meters. We have nine meters squared over the four with the one fourth. We have our pi brought it on down and we have dH dt. Now I have my units here for a reason to show you how the units are going to cancel out. To get dH dt by itself, we want to divide by all of this stuff right here. Now I know this can look a little bit overwhelming here, but really all we have is nine pi meters squared over four, all of this stuff we're taking negative two cubic meters per second and we're dividing by this. Well, that's the exact same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of this. So notice I have my negative two cubic meters per second right here. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal of this fraction. So now our nine pi square meters is at the bottom. Our four is at the top. This is gonna be dh dt and we can do some canceling out of variables cubic meters over square meters, we get completely rid of the square meters at the bottom, leaving us with just a plain old meter at the top. And this is going to be equal to negative eight meters. So negative eight, I'm going to put my meters out here, over nine pi. And notice we have our seconds at the bottom. So we have meters per second. This is our exact answer. And the reason why it's negative is because the height, the depth of the water is getting lower. And getting a decimal approximation here, negative eight divided by nine pi is approximately negative 0.283 meters per second. I should also mention here too, if you wrote a sentence out, if we use the word dropping since we have the negative, when the water's three meters deep, the depth of the water is dropping at a rate of 0.283 meters per second. Notice I did not use a negative here because the word dropping takes care of that sign. And there you have it, a related rates problem dealing with water that's draining from a conical tank. Very common problem here to use similar triangles. And ultimately, at the very beginning, we wanted to get two variables here. We wanted to get one of them in terms of the other. Be careful and make sure you pick the right one depending on the question that you're being asked. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.